seeing some other red trimerals out there, but... In a very steep wave downhill, but so far I never, I never tried it. If, if the main, hand, main sail has stayed in one piece, I mean, uh, mm. board of now 20 minutes faster for sure, just like that. Where are we going for our secret race today? Yeah, we can, we can, we can go around, uh, maybe we can go around dry or we can go to Ero. That's uh, two possibilities. Depends what the weather looks like when we come out there. I think dry would be a good thing. Custom copper fiber pole with an... Uh, Garmin action cam that we will put uh, so it's not uh, in the way for sales. Sweet tie is uh, your friend. <laughs> yes. I have one more Garmin with speed because it's always something that fails with the uh, action cams for me at least. But what really happened during the silver run there? What's the secret? How could you go, go so fast this year? No. <laughs> Just have a right boat and a right weather, and it's fast. <laughs> but it, it didn't look so fast in the beginning, I, when I watched the start, it was yeah. not so much bit. So no, we was actually a little too careful. We just, I just started with a cut zero, yeah. and was a little uh, aware about the wind will turn in the sound. But um, I was just so calm, so I couldn't easily use a dinaka from the beginning. Okay. So, and, uh, but I am 24. Uh, quite fast in the beginning. Yes. Yeah. Uh, were you afraid of that boat? I mean, there, there, I knew there was the fastest boat in, in the hall, in all of them, so of, of course, I mean, but uh, I have a feeling it was possible to beat it, but I nearly missed it because um, I actually break my mainsail. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Uh, as this, I, 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 can, I can show you later on, but it's, I mean, the, the connection to a boom is, it was, uh, it was falling off. Okay. So I just have to reef it. After just after uh, the bridge, the Great Bell Bridge, <laughs> I have to reef the mainsail. Okay, so we got shattered a bit down. Then. Yes, and that was not uh, it was not the best because there was not that much wind. I could easily use okay. the whole mainsail. So it it took it took some time to reef it, and it took some time to I mean I slow slow the boat down a couple of knots. In a, but um, later on I managed to repair it, yeah. and I have a. a to fix it in a, in a what do you call it, a small belt, yeah. and, and, and then I pull it out. The wind was calmed down, so I can use it again. And still beat the record with one hour. <laughs> yes, for sure. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> for sure, yes, no problem. No if, problem. <laughs> <laughs> if, if, if I mean, if, if the main hail, main sail has stayed in one piece, I mean, uh, been bought of now 20 minutes faster for sure, stuff like that. But I mean, always you, you need the right weather to do a to do a record. Yeah. If, if, the, if the weather is, is there, you, it's impossible. So, how did you came up with the idea to make the and build the fastest boat in the northern Europe? <laughs> I mean, there was just a. But I mean, have you ever tram ride before? So that was the beginning of my of my life with tram run and. Um, and, and I want to improve it, I want to make it better. The next one has to be a little better, but I need more space in it. I actually would like to do it. I mean, what what trimaran did you have before? I have a, a, a wooden trimaran I built by myself, uh, Barcuda. I like Barcuda? Know it. I mean, it's, uh, I, I, I want a light boat, and, and uh, that, that, that's the way you need to make it in, in carbon fiber. Yeah. You still have to be strong and stable. And then uh, you have to keep it simple. Everything we look in here, everything is, is casted to the um, boat. To, 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 to the hull of the boat. Yeah. It's cast together so that, that everything is part of construction. Everything can keep it stiff. There's nothing that is just waste. I mean I've set the table in the middle probably you can take it off when you want to race. Uh, but, but everything is uh, cast into a boat, into uh, a hull, yeah. into a deck. So it, it's make it stiff. It doesn't need and uh, so it doesn't need anything extra, just a very small thing extra around them. The front beams and the aft beams, so to so just need to reinforce the extra there. But um, keep it simple. Huh? I think that's uh, the main thing. Okay. Yeah. This I mean, it's, al it's always a uh, a little scaring when you put the boat in the water first time and out testing it 
is, is it working? When you have you have spent uh, one and a half years to build a boat, and the first trip is always very exciting. And you you, you start in light rain, always in light rain. You never test the boat. You start with beginning in hard rain, and then you walk around to see if everything looks okay. It looks strong enough. You, you can you can and then you speed slowly up and see if everything looks uh, looks fine. I mean, and I find some small uh, things I have to um, to make stronger later on. Maybe I had a little bit water. I had to change the water. It wasn't deep enough, and there was some there was some small thing I had to to change. But then it's, after that, it's, it's worked really perfect. So, what did you feel when you the first time it came like? little stronger wind, you started to sheet in and it started to accelerate. Did you see that? Okay, this is it. I, I can feel it straight away. I mean, you can feel it straight away if, if it works. You could just feel the power in it. it, was, it was, I mean, it's, a, it's a great feeling. Just okay. if you, can, you can feel it speed up, accelerate and uh, things work. It's, uh, it's, so, it's a great feeling. Okay. That's, uh, that's the difference between the tram run and the keyboard. This, this moment when you speed it up, you can, you can really feel it, it accelerate and you can it's, it just go fast because there's, it's it's light. It just go like three five seconds, and you up in speed. You you full speed. This is little too much sail. Uh, no, actually not. It's uh, because it, it cheats very very well. I mean, uh, of course we have we have we have, uh, we have 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 tried to to, to give as much speed as possible. We have we have. We have we, Many times I have been lifting your main hole, and it, but it's you have two rotor and you're always full control with the boat, and you can feel that that's maximum. It just uh, it, it's it's still safe, but you can feel that that's maximum because then you just lift the main hole, and you can see that you don't go any longer. You uh, you're in maximum here. Okay. And uh, it's it feels safe. There's no um, it doesn't dive. And it's a no throw. I never tried to make no move dive. No. Uh, no pitch pulling. No, no, because there's a lot of value in um, in armors. And it means it, it just keep over the water always. So far, you can't provocate a boat with your heavy sail in in very steep wave and downhill. And yeah. but so far, I never I never tried. Okay, then John, let's go out do some last speed record for October. And see if any other uh, boats dare to match us. <laughs> yeah.
alive, but it's complaining. Okay. <laughs> it works. So, so I think, think that's a very good compromise because it's a uh, we use it for, for, for long holidays too. And, uh, yeah, and, and I can use it for race. For yeah. me it's a perfect compromise. We have, we have tried to, to give as so much speed as possible in Hali Jets, in Hali, many times we have been in the main hall. But it's, you have two rotors and you only have full control of the boat. And you can see that that's maximum, it's just, uh, it, it's still safe, but you can see that that's maximum. Because then you just leave the main hall and you can see that 
will go in the long run to uh, you and Max Mundia. Okay. And uh, it's, it feels safe. There's no, um, it doesn't die. Yeah, I need the front. Yeah, so just you just step up and nothing.